You've heard about 360 photos, 360 content, and virtual tours, and you're wondering how to create it. Well, in this video, I aim to explore the world of 360 photography stills and introduce you to the Kula platform. So this video is aiming specifically at people who are photographers, travel bloggers, and bloggers in general, and just want to do something a bit different from the regular photography. So this is going to be talking more about 360 photos and not videos that you may have seen on my channel. And if you're interested in 360 videos, then please click on this link right here. If there's anything specific about 360 video, let me know in the comments. And also I'm just going to talk more about why I think the Cooler platform is great for beginners who's very new to 360 world. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in a specific area of the 360 photos, introduction, the gear, there's links in the description so you can jump straight into it. Okay, let's start off with the basics. The reason why people love 360 photos because it's just a damn lot more immersive than regular photos. With 360, as it's in the name, you can look everywhere. And that's why I'm really interested in 360 at the moment because it gives you a, a way to present an area in a slightly different way to regular media. And also just something a bit different. I'm really into my tiny planets. You should check them out on my Instagram. And it's actually a really, really good time to get into 360 because it's just so simple. You literally buy a small little, a little handheld device that you just stick up, take a picture and off you go. The whole process to stitching it, to um, putting it together, to, together to upload it. It's so much more simpler now. I've actually got two 360 cameras, my Insta One X and uh, Fita V. So you may be wondering, well, where do I start? Well, the good thing is that there's loads of devices out there on the market. What I personally recommend is either the Fita V or the Insta 360 One X. The Fita V is slightly better for photos and the video is okay. And the uh, Insta360 One X is the reverse, but this video isn't gonna be focusing on reviewing gear. There's loads of good videos out there that does it. I recommend Ben Clownmount. He pretty much is the 360 king. So the Cooler platform is a platform to show 360 photos and virtual tools. You can upload your photos to the platform and show it to the world. Just in case you're wondering why you can't upload a 360 photo like you can do with regular photos, when you upload a 360 photo, because it's 360, the picture looks a bit distorted and you need a way, a platform, a piece of software to make it into a sphere. And so they can move it around, upload it, and it looks all nice and easy to use. Now, each of the different platforms, the user interface is slightly different and the feature set is also slightly different. So now I'm gonna go into the five reasons why the Cooler platform is absolutely amazing. Reason number one, the community. As soon as you go to the Kula website, you can actually access the big online gallery. And the great thing about having such a big community and gallery of different photos that anybody can just view, it actually has a great community online and you can just ask questions. And also, if you want to check out my gallery as well, you can click on the link in the description here to go straight to my virtual tours and photos. And that's quite unique for Kula because not many other platforms actually aggregate and provide a gallery of the 360 uh, photos like Kula does. And reason number two, varied content. So what I'm finding at the moment is quite exciting is that different people are doing different things with just 360 uh, photos. And to be perfectly honest, I still think that we're at the beginning of 360 content. So that's just another reason to jump on board. You've got some amazing things like people creating paintings in 360. Really cool, like moody photos, epic drone shot photos. And people even started to create some really interesting like choose your adventure stories where you can basically follow certain paths to like pick up and do and make a, make the whole 360 experience more of a game which is really really exciting an area that i'm definitely going to explore more at some point in the future and reason number three it's really really easy to get started cooler the basic subscription is free you can upload your photos and show off to the world a virtual tour which is private and you just experiment with and it works really really well as soon as you upload your 360 uh, photos onto the cooler platform you have a full virtual experience and look around on your mobile you can actually spin around and see the whole 360 photo in a 360 space and one of the things that I actually was wondering myself was whether it actually pulls down the quality of the photos. Well, I can happily say it doesn't. Once you upload the photo, it's the same quality as when you upload it and it looks absolutely amazing. Reason number four, you can actually embed it into your blog and it's really, really simple. You upload a photo, you take a bit of the code and if you fancy it, you can customize it so that you can turn off certain features straight into your blog and boom, suddenly you have a 360 world in your blog. How amazing is that? So the free version allows you to show off photos 
And then once you need more features, like a full on virtual tour or privacy settings where you can pass and protect your photos, you can just pay the subscription and get all of those extra features. And in my next video, where I'll go into more details on actually how to use the Cooler platform and just have a more of a step-by-step -step guide in what it offers. I'm going to go into more details about the subscription. And that's it guys. That's my quick overview of the Cooler platform. It's a nice and easy way to show off your 360 photos and even virtual tours. Links in the description and at the end of this video. So make sure you subscribe to get more of an in-depth step-by-step guide on how to use the Cooler platform to create a virtual tour in my next video. Also, once you're here, why don't you check out some 360 videos right here and I'll catch you in the next video. In-depth review of the Insta... The Insta... The Insta... The Virtual reality. God, just reminds me of Lawnmower Man. Hmm. I probably got this in the wrong way around, but whatever.